Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I'm by myself. Uh, my husband and the girls uh, went on a date, and they said to stay home and relax. So I did it, and it. I confess, it is hard to put down the phone. It. I'm bad. I've been bad. I confess. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna try to read. Uh, this other book, because even though I was reading something about, uh, the new, the Hotel New Hampshire, sorry, uh, I was trying to think of the title, um, by John Irvin, who's a great, great author, but for some reason, I like, I mean, it hasn't engaged me, like, it's there, I've been carrying it, but I'm not really reading it, and I know myself as a reader, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I know myself as a reader, and if I haven't touched it um, over, I don't know, like a week, maybe two, I forget. Um, I'm not liking it. it. I cannot call it my current read. So I've been trying this one. It seems interesting, and this is what got to me. Uh, not only the Spanish, Dona, which is not Spanish, it's actually in Brazil. Uh, so it's awesome, which I've always loved uh, Portuguese, So, which I think I could understand and I could eventually learn. But anywho, this, A Moral and Amorous, Amorous Tale. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. Leave it in the comments. Um, Gabriela Cloven Cinnamon. So that's um, the other titles from Jorge Amado. So anyways... It was like a buck or so in the thrift store. I haven't protected it, so I'm trying to be gentle. But I failed. I failed. You're not supposed to do this. Uh, there's clubs against it. Uh, book lovers everywhere. It's like, come on. Why are you doing this? But I confess, again, <sighs> sometimes I fold the paper so anyways i'm going to try to read <clears throat> and clear my nostrils obviously um as you can see uh a few pages or a few paragraphs i guess um excuse my thick espanol accent uh, i do per have to prepare my mouth to say certain words but uh, here we glow. Let me see. So it's the tale of this lady that has two husbands. One died uh, during the carnaval, which is carnival or carnival, sorry. Um, and I already read how he dies. Uh, and then she marries this doctor. And I think if at one point, look, I just noticed that three ninety five. I think I paid less than that. Uh, but eventually, she encounters the dead husband ghost and has I don't know. I don't want to say um, intimacy with him, but <clears throat> we're gonna read. So. Um, there was a hubbub in the group of dancers and in the street, a rush through... Okay, I read that. Uh, this was far too simple. Okay. Valgame Dios. Why it's Vadino, the poor thing, remarked one of those disguised re revelers. His mask slipping off, his gaiety gone. All recognized the dead men. He enjoyed great, great popularity. With his sparkling joyousness, his hairline mustache, his profile, profile gates, pride, that's a word I would look up, <clears throat> especially well-liked in places where drinking, gambling, and carousing were the order of the day. And there, so near his home, everyone knew him. So anyways, 
This is like a profile or something, but he was popular. Another masked man. This one, oh, because it was a carnaval. Another masked man. This one dressed in burlap and wearing a beer's, bear's head pushed his way through the tight group and managed to approach close enough to get a good look. <clears throat> Where's my editor? He pulled off his mask, revealing a dull full face with drooping mustache and bald scalp and murmured, but he knew my brother, what have they done to you? What happened to him? What did he die of? People asked one another and someone answered rum. This was far too simple an explanation of such an untimely dead. A stooped old woman gazed at him for a long time and remarked, still so young. Why did he have to die so early? There was a crossfire of questions and answers while the doctor laid his ear on Badinho's breast. <clears throat> his report was definite and extinguished all hope. He was dancing the samba, having a wonderful time, and without a word to anyone, he fell over completely dead, explained one of his four friends, sobered up as though by magic and deeply touched. He stood there looking somewhat foolish in his drag, his cheeks red with rouch, roach, his eyes deeply shadowed with burned cork. <clears throat> Mom, I'm so sorry for this. And I'll stop, I guess, because it is over five minutes. But, oh my goodness, look at this word. There was not a fight. <gasps> Praise be God, but then you had evil. Oh my goodness, I had just seen that word. I'm sorry if I offended somebody. Um, It is not a word I use in my vocabulary, but I won't give up on this book. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I will let you know. I might give up. I don't know. But um, truth be told, I do have to. <clears throat> Valgame Dios. I do have to um, protect it because I abuse. I abuse books. Uh, but I do enjoy them and I love them very much. There's my little dog game. So, bye.